civilized medicine. It's what civilized nations do for their people, and healthy people are productive people and strong people. So I want to thank every one of you that's here today because you get it. So now I'm speaking to those of you who might be watching this who are not here today, and particularly to those who are on the front lines providing health care. We must not rest until every person in this country gets health care, gets the same standard of health care, everybody in, nobody out. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming today. My name is Kevin Zeese. I'm with Prosperity Agenda. Uh, our, our, our thrust is giving people control of their lives, their economic lives, seeing a democratized economy, and that starts with health care for all, a single-payer system. And when you, when you come to a beautiful capital dome like this, it's appropriate to thank the elected officials. But the truth is, they're not the ones who count. It wasn't LBJ who brought civil rights to the United States. It was organized people being persistent in their demands. It was not Woodrow Wilson. It was not Woodrow Wilson who gave women the right to vote. It was women demanding the right to vote. That gave them the right to vote. And it will not be President Obama or anyone that follows that gives us single-payer health care. It will be us that gives us single-payer health care. We are not going to let we're not going to let the Congress say a bill that leaves tens of millions without insurance is health care reform. We're not going to let them say that not controlling the cost of health care is health care reform. We're not going to allow the Congress to say that a bill that doesn't allow people to sue when they're denied care is health care reform. That is not reform. This is a giveaway, hundreds of billions of dollars a year, from working people to the insurance corporations, and that's what we're seeing in Washington. The rest is a show. So our job is to be... Our job is to be clear and persistent and uncompromising. And the one project that we're working on now I want you all to get involved in, in addition to your great work here, is mobilizeforhealthcare.org. It was mentioned early, earlier, we're sitting in at, 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 at insurance companies around the country. We have had 11 mobilizations so far. 78 people have been arrested at these mobilizations. We're having another big mobilization day, October 28th. We're going to see cities, dozens of cities, with mobilizations occurring, probably 100 arrests that day. We need to make the insurance industry radioactive. Right. So when those politicians, so when those politicians take those insurance company payoffs, they pay a political price for it. We can't let them have these payoffs without a political price. Our job is to make it unacceptable to take that corrupt money of murder. And that's what we're here to say. So. our next speaker who's a close friend and ally of prosperity and agenda of all of us here. And that's Katie Robbins of Healthcare Now. They were one of the organizations that started this mobilization for healthcare with us. Please welcome Katie, one of the Balkans of It was as if they were pretending to have a discussion 
on how to develop a healthcare system to work for the American people, to, to expand coverage. I think we were even talking about universal care at that time. We don't hear those words anymore. So standing up and speaking truth to power was so important for continuing the work of this movement. And I am energized that over 75 arrests have been made in the name of Medicare for All, single-payer health care, since that time.